is uh, Patrick Hunter on the 10th of April and I just wanted to show where I put the uh, seeds and um, I suppose cuttings and the propagation once I've potted them up so this is the north side of the house along here and this is the west side of the house and um, all the little pots and cuttings that I've taken um, they get positioned along here and what I like about the grit say for example if we take this example here this is mugwort and I took cuttings from a beach in Kerry. I found a plant down there. This is a, a common mugwort. Um, and I've potted it up. And the great thing about having the, the mix of two parts compost, one part sand, one part grit, and then topping it off with grit is that you get very few weeds in your pots. And what little bits of weeds do start to come through can be easily removed like that so you can keep the plants really really clean as well as that when you're watering them you're not getting splashing soil all over the ground um, and where we are we're in a frost pocket so because of that you get a lot of moss growth on the footpath and what's interesting is that sometimes you'll see in horticultural units uh, commercial ones they'll put down some matting you know this this capillary matting to help to keep the roots of plants moist and actually here on the footpath because it's sort of shady down here and we're in this frost pocket it's almost actually acting like a natural uh, capillary matting and um, so sometimes i'll find that you know some of the plants that have been in the pots a little bit longer they've rooted down into this a te teeny tiny bit but it means then if you forget a little bit about the watering you, you get a little bit of forgiveness on that so just some of the plants i'm propagating at the moment um, we have um, some Egyptian walking onions here, um, some gooseberry cuttings that I've taken. Um, I think that one there is a Salvia Royal Bumble. It's been out all winter like that, the side of the house. I've got some um, um, myrtle there and Chilean guava, some Eliagnus. Um, this one is a really good plant to have. This is Caucasian spinach, spinach Habritzia temnoides. Um, and again, I just keep dividing it up. So when that gets a little bit bigger, I'll split that in half and make another one from it. Um, and then I've got some um, perennial cabbage. Not sure which, which one it is. Got that from Susie Can. We don't exactly know what it is, but I'll grow it and see what it, what it turns out like. And then down along here, then I've got some hydrangea animala petiolaris. Got some tiny hydrangea cuttings. I've got some flamus rosliana. It's a nice plant I got from a friend. I'm going to try and introduce that to the garden. I've got some ornamental carrots. Um, and on it goes. Some, um, some interesting things I'm trying here with some uh, red boar kale. Just for the crack, I decided to take cuttings of the annual red boar kale that I had in the garden. It actually grew for two years. And um, I've just potted them up in the same way as I've done with some of the perennial kales to see if there's any any way that they might take. You, you never know, sometimes it might work. Um, so there's a lot of little bit, bits of experiments here. I've got some, um, uh, what are those ones there? That's, um, what is that? Let's have a look. Chicory. Some chicory coming up this year. It's a new plant for the garden, grown from seed. I would have actually sown that in the autumn outdoors and that's been germinated outdoors at the side of the house here um, moving down down along I've got some of these lovely plants some epimediums that a friend of mine gave to me last year so they're coming up now and uh, they'll be ready for planting out pretty soon and then on and on it goes down here um, I started dividing up plants that are coming up at the moment in the spring lots of plants are coming up so this is Nautia Macedonica um, beautiful plant and um, I'm really aggressively dividing up plants at the moment because uh, it's hard to get plants and I've been looking around the garden and looking at the ones I really like and instead of having one or two of them why not have 10-15 of each so dividing 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 as much as I can at the moment and then sort of um, yeah sort of moving things around and, and having fun with it so yeah that's what I'm at at the moment thanks very much